this video I'll be demonstrating my Autopsy Interest module for extracting artifacts from Microsoft Teams. Let's start by creating a new case with an Autopsy. You start off by setting a case name, and if you want, you can also assign a case number. Once this is done, we can add our data source. In my case, I'll be adding a VMDK file that contains an installation of Microsoft Teams that has previously been populated with a large number of artifacts. Make sure to select the Microsoft Teams parser as an ingest module and click on next. I think the data source can take a little while, that's why I'll speed up this process. After the data source has been added, the parser will automatically locate the LabelDB database of Microsoft Teams and extract all artifacts such as messages, contacts, calendar entries and reactions from the disk image. The extracted artifacts are shown under the Extracted Content section within the Autopsy sidebar. Let's go through them one by one. First, let's have a look at the calendar entries. The parser has been able to extract the start and end times as well as the subject of the appointment. For the call logs, the parser is able to extract the participants of a call, the direction, as well as the duration of a certain call. The parser is also capable of extracting contacts, their full names, email addresses, and their Microsoft Teams internal user IDs. Within the message section, all textual conversations, such as direct messages, posts, and comments can be found. Each message object in there contains the latest version of the message as a message body, the user ID of the sender, a create date, and an identifier of the thread on which the conversation occurred. The thread ID groups the messages belonging either to a certain post within a team or um, messages that have been exchanged directly between two users. For messages which contained either a media file as an attachment or a hyperlink within the message body, the links will be displayed as an attachment of the specific message artifact. The message parser is also able to extract the message reactions, so this could be like a like or heart reaction to a certain message, and it's able to show a preview of the original message, extract the um, source user, the target user, as well as the message ID of the message that has received a certain reaction. 